Hi, this is Belinda and welcome to Renovate, the show where we help needy families renew, rebuild and revitalize their homes. For chronic eczema sufferers Flora and her son Martin, their home is no longer a sanctuary. Because I keep moaning, keep having more, I keep on clean, it come back. With mounting medical bills, the family has resorted to stopgap measures to fix up their flat. She's got scotch tape everywhere. Display cabinets on the floor. Everywhere that she doesn't want dust to get in, where there is a damage, something that is broken, she will use tape to tape them. The house is falling apart, they have health issues, and it becomes a living hell. Between constantly cleaning their home and taking care of their son, Flora and her husband Mahazir have very little time to rest. They struggle to maintain the upkeep of their flat, but it has now become a minefield of health and safety hazards. Let's see how Renovate can revamp their home and provide them with a fresh start. Fast, fast, fast. I need you to help me tape and then put H for hotel, uh, S for storage. We're helping Flora and family move out of their flat today, so it's all hands on deck. While we're busy outside, Flora is keeping Martin occupied and guiding him on how to box his belongings. Flora just did a little bit of packing, whatever she could, in the bedroom. She came out with bandaged fingers. I was shocked. Uh, it's all broken now, so very painful to have bandage. Yeah. <laughs> and they were sneezing and coughing and scratching while we were moving. And that wasn't my plan. I wanted them out of the house. Clearing out the flat has taken longer than usual. We haven't sorted out all their belongings. But we have managed to get most things packed for our professional movers. These items will be safely stored in a warehouse while their home is being renovated. For the last fortnight, uh, we did clear bit by bit. The air quality seems like uh, amazingly getting better and better. Let's go! For my son's skin and my wife, slightly has improved. Hopefully, hopefully, these clutters are the main problem. Now that the flat has been cleared, our renovate contractors can start working. Norman and I have lots on our plate as we need to find furniture that won't cause an eczema flare-up for the family. May I know um, what sort of team and what sort of size you're looking for? Simple, mm. yeah, clean cut. And the most important is um, easy maintenance for mm. this family. They need to clean up frequently. Mm. I'd like mm. to recommend this TV console. The size is suitable for apartment mm -hmm. and there's also a combination of different uh, wood. The kinfolk style cabinet fits in nicely with what Norman has in mind for the family. The solid mahogany dorm panels and drawers will add a touch of nature to the living room. The smooth finishes also make it easy to maintain. We just okay. use a dry cloth mm. to clean the surface and that's it. It's actually yeah. a bit more elevated so that they can vacuum, which can clean the floor. Mm -hmm. I see something nice. Oh. This coffee table can match the console, which is round edges. Mm. The sun can actually sit down, do something right. uh, over this coffee table. Yeah, it's semi-gross finish mm. and uh, also very easy to maintain. We don't have to worry about scratches because mm. it's uh, non-scratch. I like the fact that it's, uh, it's got an uh, odd shape. Mm. So I think this would soften soften the entire living room. Oh, oh. Separate oh, oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, now that the coffee table has been selected, we just need to find a suitable sofa for the family. We call this edge blue, yeah. and this sofa is actually coordinated with the TV console. The material itself is actually uh, linen uh, with a mix of cotton. So something that we can remove and something we can just throw into the washing machine and wash. Right. And well, I, I like this a lot, to be honest with you, and that's for personal shopping. <laughs> <laughs> but for Flora and Martin, right, they have such sensitive skin. Mm. Anything to do with fabric is a big no-no. Mm. Even though this is washable, mm. I still think it might not be the most suitable sofa for them. Yeah. 
Fortunately, there is a variety of sofas to choose from. From what we hear, the family doesn't have problems with PVC and leather. I suspect this is why Norman is picking this dining set. Why would you think that this is suitable? So it's not actually those type of fabric type which will collect dust. Right. And this can use a cloth to just, to wipe, just it. wipe it. Right. This is a bit odd shape. Okay. Yeah, then the edges is rounded. With furniture checked off the list, we're shopping for new blinds. These will help ward off the sun in Flora's flat when she's working from home. So we are here to see some materials and what are the best to propose for Madam Flora. Fantastic. We have uh, actually day curtain, night curtain, uh, blinds, all types of blinds like mm. the zebra blinds, mm. roller blinds, mm. Venetian blinds and mm. also vertical blinds. Fantastic. Here are some samples for you to look at. Here, blinds can be made to order. Despite the small footprint of the showroom, there are loads of samples that I can browse from. Of course, nothing beats a tactile. I need to touch and experience how these materials feel on skin. This is the mock-up for the zebra blind. Right. Yeah. Then what's the difference between the zebra blind and the blinds behind? Uh, the blinds behind is called 3D blind. This one you can just flip close. Actually, I won't recommend for that. Every panel you need to clean. Right. But for zebra blind, you just need to vacuum right. and just use cloth to clean it will do. Because we cannot afford to have blinds that will collect dust. Yes, though. like a zebra, every strap inside, then you can control and pull up all the way for the full brightness. Okay. Uh, to choose the colour? Sure. Okay, okay, sure. Given the neutral colour tones used in the overall design, I thought Norman would be going for stronger colours for the blinds. As it turns out, he wishes to go for a more timeless look. This one will have a contrast, but not too strong at the living room. I think it's going to be very pretty. More to natural tone, yeah. earth tone of yeah. finishing. I mean, we yes. can have um, a splash of colour, you know, in terms of um, like the little soft finishings here and there, whether it's a little souvenir, a little something. I found that the water dripping at the edge of the partition. Flora just did a little bit of packing. She came out with bandaged fingers. Uh, it's all broken now, so very painful for me. Bandage. Yeah. <laughs> Norman and I are back at Flora's flat to check out the renovation progress. So far, it seems oh, to be wow. moving smoothly. Oh, it looks completely different, Norman. <laughs> you can see a lot of changes whereby the environment, the colours, the brightness of the whole house. And the red cabinets are gone. <laughs> that one is the first thing to on go. the first day to go. <laughs> With the clutter gone, what I see now is a fresh and airy new environment. Contrary to his original plan, Norman has hacked away the walk-in wardrobe, making the master bedroom more open. Yes, the Fantastic. walk-in wardrobe. Fantastic. Now the whole room looks a lot bigger. Yes. But what about this curb? Because you have this thing sticking out, though. I don't intend to cover up. Why? Uh -huh. Because yeah. in the future, if there's anything happen to the aircon drainage, oh, they have difficulties. Then it's a bit of a problem. But now, Norman has to deal with a bigger problem. One that he may not be able to solve. I dismantled the partition wall. Okay, I found that the water dripping at the edge of the partition. What you're trying to say is there is a leakage problem upstairs Happened at the neighbor's before. house. Yes. My suspect is upstairs from the master toilet. They are waterproofing. It wasn't that properly? Yes. Now, upstairs, their bedroom also water seepage. My goodness. Because Flora has been living with this problem for a quite a number of years. I had suspected that there could be a sick building syndrome going on with Flora's home. I even got an indoor air quality consultant to assess the place and they have found it severely contaminated with mould. If they don't fix their water leakage problem, ultimately the same problem will come back. Yes. Molding problem, yes. bacterial problem, con air contamination problem, it's going to be back to square yes. one. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait for HDB to mediate and solve the issue. 
Norman still has to get renovations and time for the reveal. On the flip side, the family seems to be settling well at the hotel. Hello. I think uh, when he reached the hotel, he was very happy. He thought it's holiday. Mm, did not have any like difficulties settling down the room. Holiday. So, uh. not so bad. <laughs> the day is off to a good start. The family seems excited with what we have planned as we head to the photo studio for a family portrait. Okay. Uh, good, good, good feeling. It's like capture memory of uh, his growing up. Yeah. We're supposed to do it uh, more often, mm. but because of his condition, yeah. we cannot. So once every five or uh, ten years is good. But as they grow, maybe three to five years. Mahazia and Flora used to take a lot of pictures ah. in studio, outdoors. Yeah, right. they love taking pictures. Right. Yeah, so, you know, I think it's been a while, huh, yeah. Flora? <laughs> Hi, Martin. Very nice. Do you guys go out often as a family? We have stopped visiting anyone. Really? Yeah, even my family, my friends, close friends, we stopped visiting them for many years. Because it's, it's very uh, inconvenient to bring around because it was constantly itchy. How do you like this family outing so far? Yeah. You really enjoy it. Really yeah, thank you for this arrangement. <laughs> no, let's go to let's go other places and woohoo some more, okay? okay. <laughs> this day can only get better. I remember Flora sharing that Martin couldn't go out and play, so we have brought them here to an indoor creative playground. Flora doesn't have to worry too much about the heat triggering Martin's eczema. Both father and son are having a great time here. <laughs> That's not the bullet. We play, we don't have many rules. The rules are only there for safety. We only say keep it dry because it becomes slippery. We should attend our messy place on Fridays. Okay. Uh, sometimes the children come out covered in flour from head to toe. Wow. And even the parents. Wow. <laughs> it's good fun, but nobody wants to clean up that sort of mess at home. Come on, yeah, more ice? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, it's oh, 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 overflowing. What do we do now? <laughs> I'm seeing a playful side to Martin, one that I haven't seen before. He also knows what he likes and doesn't like, like his father squirting water at him. <laughs> yeah. 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 He don't like that. Da, da. Last year, he was uh, full of broken yeah. skin. He can't even touch water. Yeah, it's very painful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. only uh, yeah. 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 It's yeah. It's very cold. Papa, don't show me. I have my skin painful. My skin is broken skin. Ah. Okay. I think Papa is having more fun. Yeah. Hammer, <laughs> yeah. What are you hammering? He enjoys freely. This is what I feel uh, at ease and comfortable. Right. Yeah, yeah, the owner here is very nice. Are you trying to tell me that this is the very first time mm. after many years that Martin is having fun. Yeah, at home he was like, don't touch, don't go near there. A lot of um, restriction. It's been a very, very long time. I haven't watched my son playing out from the house. Seems like the temperature and the atmosphere suited him the best. It's very difficult for him uh, to find places to interact, to play, mm. to have fun especially when he has uh, this skin condition. Mm. So, yeah, it, it's, it's amazing. I'm just so happy to see that the whole family is having a lot of fun. Yeah, Because, you know, you've been so tired all these yeah, days. Yeah, de definitely. I'm really exhausted. But today was amazing. Today, uh, my exhaustion is uh, gone because of play. Today, we're moving Flora and family back to their home as usual. I have my team renovate volunteers! <laughs> as well as volunteers from Gain City. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate your support to renovate. So guys, you guys ready to get to work right now? Yeah! Let's go! We need to get Flora's home into move-in condition fast. But it's not exactly the same old, same old for our volunteers. They have to work around the purging machines that I have got specifically to remove any existing fumes from the flat. This is because I remember Flora has asthma on top of eczema.
For the Flowers family, I've decided not to put these new bed sheets for them. It's because they have extremely sensitive skin. I've decided to place it aside for the family, for them to wash, help them dry them, then they'll put on these new freshly washed bed sheets uh, themselves. Can you recognize your own? Can a lot. <laughs> He's very shocked. Who's talking this? a few steps away from your home. How are you feeling now? Ah, all the love and care from your team. I don't want this to end. <laughs> Mahase, how are you feeling? Feeling nervous. Very nervous, yes, huh? I'm excited. Want to go, go home? Go home. Go home. Go home. <laughs> then, let's go home, shall let's we? Go home. Let's, go. Okay, let's, let's go. go home. With the old clutter gone, the flat looks entirely different. The entrance now widens out to a big open hall with separate living and dining areas. <laughs> Can you recognize your own? Can a lot. <laughs> He's very shocked. <laughs> Norman has also installed more adjustable storage so that the family can keep Martin's medical supplies and other items as well. Display not that much, okay. but now more on storage areas. Yes, yes. Here will be your shoe cabinet. Okay. Every panel is adjustable, and you can adjust this to the level you want. Flora and family can even control the amount of light penetrating the flat through the easy to clean roller blinds. I've installed the child safe limited for you. Okay, when you open, limited to this space. Ooh. Because with grills, uh, you actually have to spend more time cleaning. Yes. Now, without the grill, you have this child lock uh, safety feature. You only have to clean the windows, but you are still able to allow air to flow into the house. This is a purifier. This is oh my God. a vacuum robot. No time to, to clean the house. You can depend on this robot to clean the entire house. Everything in Flora's home has been chosen with their medical conditions in mind. What's more, these furniture are also easy to clean and maintain. Norman has sealed up the recess area for the cold flights, so Flora won't worry about dust bunnies floating down anymore. She also won't have to worry about slipping on the wet floors as Norman has also installed waterproof and non-slip scratch-resistant flooring. Then over here will be your go, go, open display. I remember you passed me a bag of things. Yes. It's right here. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Mati. Mati. And then who's this? Dada and Mama. <laughs> All the lighting in the flat have been replaced with energy efficient LED bulbs. The most important is spotlight. It's not hot. hot. Oh. He's very happy. He's, he's so happy now. He saw something that he's very happy with. Yes. Let me show you what that thing is. I okay? know. He likes vehicles. You like vehicles? Yes. He likes that. Because Martin may scribble on the walls, washable paint has been used throughout the flat. Yeah, so this paint is called Purian. It's odor free and also it's antibacterial. It's mold. Fungus resistant. Yes, this is something that you guys really need for the yeah, entire yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. I love the crystal lighting of I this know. Fan. So oh. no chandelier, never mind. At least yeah. you've got crystal lighting. <laughs> yes, and then it's easy to clean. Yeah, and ventilation. Here at the corner of the living area, Norman has set aside a place for Martin to study and play. Who would like to enter the bedroom first? Martin, first. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to your Martin has officially parted ways with his old broken wardrobe. This one is full height and custom made with sturdy drawers that Flora can count on lasting. As you can see, these are mattress, the, even the bed frame. The bed frame is PVC leather, right. so you, you don't no longer have to worry about mm. having allergy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
Unlike before when Flora and Mahasya had to sleep on the floor or on a very thin mat, now they will be able to rest in their own queen-size bed in the master bedroom. Come, please sit on your bed. This is your comfortable bed. Okay. Happy? Happy. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Flora, this is how it looks like. Wow. So you have Emperor, Emperor Space. Yeah, that, of course she okay. sees the mirror. So this is mine and then this is his, right? Okay. <laughs> Now, the family can use the master bedroom toilet. Norman has replaced the non-functioning toilet bowl here and changed out all the pipes in the two toilets. Welcome to the heart of the house. Please come in. Oh, oh, master. <laughs> yeah, master of the house. Wow! Yes, it's a building. So, yes, I always hope to have a built-in oven that is at the eye level. Though the island counter has been removed, Norman has made sure the kitchen has ample storage and countertop work area. This is an antibacterial laundry system. It ionizes, ionizes. Yeah, and it repels dust mites. The ceilings in the toilets have been patched up with sealant and fungus-resistant paint. Hopefully, the mold will be gone for good. I've never come across a family that had to face mold issue, and it was severe. <laughs> and I never knew, I never knew something like a mold, fungus issue, something that is so insignificant in our lives can cause such a huge impact in a family's health. Basically, my ultimate goal is for this family to recover completely and to have a better quality of life and to be able to experience the simple joys in life. <laughs> It's a gift for your family from Tomato Studio. I still haven't found a word to describe my joy. <laughs> it is uh, pretty overwhelming because we were staying in a very unfunctionable life with this unfunctional house. It's really a home, but we are not built home. Mahazia, you look so at peace. I'm looking at um, a new journey. Hopefully, I can manage my son even better. And then I can spend much more time with my wife especially. 